Hello again, friends. It is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and we are bringing to you the first time we are loading up our Xbox One X. Just out today, I was a actually able to get my hands on a Project Scorpio edition, and so we are going to show you guys the new Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made. And we are going to uh, go through the menus here. And I'm really excited. If you guys stay around for our follow-up video, we are going to be playing Sonic Forces, which just came out today with Mighty Logan. But I wanted uh, everybody to have a chance, because I know not everybody will have a chance to, to have this uh, get their hands on one of these consoles. So we are going to bring to you all the setup steps and see if there's anything different than a regular Xbox and it might not be but just that even that little bit of an intro at the beginning was different so very excited to have this this is gonna mean higher quality videos coming your way I don't have my uh, 4k TV quite yet I'm waiting another week or two until we see some uh, good deals and we speak English United States Oh, United States. Mighty Logan has corrected me. That's United States. All right. So I've already downloaded all the updates that are available for the games. There's a number of games that have these 4K updates that are going to look even better. I mean, regardless, uh, load times are going to get faster. Textures will look better, even if we don't have the 4K TV. But once we have that, things are going to be through the roof here. Um, especially since a bunch of the games that we're in the middle of right now will uh, get, be updated to look better on this Xbox One X. Call of Duty World War II, that's one of them. Uh, Middle Earth, uh, Shadows of War, that, that is another. Destiny 2, I'm sure we'll get back onto that at some point. And there's a whole host. I really can't wait to see how if, uh, let's see here. I really can't wait to see stuff like Ark Survival Evolved. It looks not nearly as sharp on the Xbox One as it does on PC. And seeing as how the One X is like a high-end PC, from what I'm told, um, you know, I am really curious to see, you know, if that's going to get the much-needed facelift. Um, we're also going to be bringing to you in the coming weeks, we'll be bringing some oldies things that I normally wouldn't play through um, because it's, there's not as much of a demand, but man, getting to see these games in 4K, like, we're going to be playing uh, we'll be playing Halo 5. I can't wait to go through the story on that. It's been, I have, it's been about two years since Halo 5 released, and so it's been two years since I played that game and therefore I am really excited to dive back into that with this new updated look. Another one that released last year that I've been kind of holding back because I knew it was getting the graphical update is uh, Titanfall 2. I absolutely love the Titanfall series, and um, I think that they did an incredible job making that, and it doesn't get quite the um, appreciation it deserves. Um, another one that I haven't even... I haven't even cracked the plastic. I got it about a year ago, um, and that is the special edition of Skyrim. And once I heard that's getting another update um, for the 4K graphics, th that's something like I want to see that as good as it possibly can look. And it, sure, it might not quite measure up to some of the games like Battlefield One or um, some of the better looking games. Um, I'm sure we'll dive back into Forza Horizon Three. That's another one that's on the list. I'm um, looking through my list of games. We're still planning to start uh, continue through some of the Dark Souls stuff. I don't know if that's getting any update. I haven't seen if that's on the list, but I'm going to be bringing episodes of that once we finish our holiday schedule, which is getting pretty close here, guys. Um, so the games that are left on our holiday schedule here, or our fall slash winter schedule, we're uh, playing through Middle Earth Shadows of War. We're playing through uh, Call of Duty and Mario Odyssey. We still haven't finished some of the games from earlier in the fall or even the summer of uh, Mario Plus Rabbids and Splatoon 2. So we'll continue bringing those your way. Um, we are also going to have Star Wars Battlefront coming out. Uh, I think it's just 10 days from now. Uh, today's the 7th, and that is the, I believe, 17th. That comes out. We've got that on pre-order, so we'll have that coming to you right away. And um, I think, really, beyond Sonic Forces and the other ones that I've mentioned already, that is 
mostly it for the year. You know, we have to look. We get to look forward to uh, December twelfth when PUBG, or for those who don't know what PUBG is, Player Unknown Battlegrounds. Um, very, uh, it's basically the game that was copied for uh, Fortnite Battle Royale. It's pretty much seems to have many like a blatant ripoff, even though there's some different systems within the games. It's the same exact style of game, and PUBG was the one that made that famous. So. This is obviously taking a while, so we've kind of gone over our update and what we're going to be working on and the games that we're going to looking forward to playing uh, with the Xbox One X. There are, uh, we're going to go ahead and fast forward here. I'm going to probably just pull up the list here and uh, we'll go over any other games um, that are being enhanced for Xbox One X. Oh, Rise of the Tomb Raider is another one, and we may very well bring that. I've heard that looks absolutely amazing. I woke up this morning to find a 30 gigabyte download of that. Thankfully, I've got a 4 terabyte hard drive, and we can handle all these games. Um, but that is one that um, I've heard is... Uh, that's one that's supposed to look amazing. So, let's see here. A couple of other signature games um, that I don't necessarily have all of these or have them anymore, but games that are also supposed to look amazing. Uh, Forza 7 and Assassin's Creed Origins both released this year. Both of those are supposed to be getting a major facelift. I'm really curious. Um, we actually have the Halo Master Chief Collection, and perhaps we break that out as the original Halo series is going to start looking even better. Uh, Gears of War 4 is also getting a, a facelift, and those are those are some of the main ones. Uh, a lot of the games that are getting enhanced are coming out still. Um, Anthem is one that I cannot wait for next year. That is probably the game that I am anticipating above anything else that's on the horizon right now. Uh, just looks amazing. Um, other games, let's see here. Crackdown 3, of course, as that's a first party Microsoft game. Let's see, Wolfenstein that just came out is um, getting an, has gotten an update already, I believe. Um, interestingly, Darksiders uh, are all getting f Ultra 4K HD um, looks here. Dead Rising 4 is getting a little bit of a facelift, which the, the series, I mean, it's never been known for looking amazing with a million zombies on screen, but it's serviceable. Uh, Dishonored 2 is one I actually plan on getting as well, and we'll probably bring that to you, as that's getting a full 4K Ultra HD experience. And going through, what else jumps out at us from this list? Um, Fallout 4, as well as Fallout 3, are both being enhanced. It's not getting like the 4K Ultra HD experience, but it's going to look better than it does now. Uh, let's see, Far Cry 5 coming out, we'll utilize it. Final Fantasy 15. Interestingly, Firewatch is getting enhanced. I'm really curious to see what Firewatch, uh, how that looks better. Fortnite. Fortnite already looks great. And the fact that um, I'm playing a bit of that, so we'll have some 4K Fortnite coming your way, guys. Um, let us see. I already mentioned those... I love that Halo 3 is getting this as well. Hello Neighbor is actually going to have Ultra 4K HD when it comes out. Let's see. Injustice 2, we don't have that anymore. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, that's going to look even better. And that's, I think that needs it, though. I think some of that's the art, less than the uh, resolution. Um... Interestingly, Mar Marvel Heroes Omega, um, that's a free-to-play game. Minecraft is one. We may very well pick up Minecraft just to see how good it looks on the Xbox One X. Because the 4K update for that, that looks way better than Minecraft has ever looked. So uh, we'll probably bring some more of that to you. Um, what else is coming out? 
player unknown of course will utilize it it's not going to be 4k ultra hd but it'll still get hdr treatment and we're getting towards the end of the list we're getting on down in the alphabet here uh, for those who have Recore, that's getting a facelift. Resident Evil 7 is one that, uh, that's scary that that's getting, that game looks so good already, it's scary that that is going to be improved. Rocket League is going to be, get a little bit of an enhancement. Um, sea of Thieves already looked great, so I'm looking forward to seeing that. Battlefront 2, of course, we're about to start Sonic Forces in our next video. And, let's see here. Interestingly, super hot. I'm curious if that's what they're going to do with that. Alright, and lastly on the list here, let's see, for those who are Witcher fans, that's getting the same treatment, uh, getting an enhancement at least. Maybe not full 4K HD, but Ultra HD, but it'll still be enhanced a little bit. Um, I think I already traded in Ward, Warhammer End Times Vermintide, but the fact that that game is getting... I'm curious how good that's going to look, because it looked a little muddy at times on the Xbox One, but if it gets to where its potential is, that would be really cool. So we're going to fast forward now. We've gone over plenty of games here and talked about our schedule. We're going to fast forward um, for you guys to see if there's anything after this part where the console is setting up. All right, guys, so we just hit 100%, so it's time to update. I thought that's what we just did. Okay, good. Next, you'll sign in with your Microsoft account. Oh, my controller shut off during that time. That's very nice of it to recognize I'm not here. Save my battery pack. All right. Spinny, spinny, spinny. Maybe we won't show you guys putting in our password here. Probably not the best idea for me. All right, so I've entered my account information here, and it is going to attempt to find me on the interwebs. Here, interwebs, find the Sasquatch. All right, uh, let's see here. No. All right, we'll use Cortana at some point here. Um, Game Pass. That's like a Mega Man robot. We're gonna. We're not going to. Um, That's like Banjo Kazooie. We're not gonna activate our Game Pass. We've got enough games right now to fill up our time. Now I am. I think I've told you guys. If I haven't, I am East Coast. So. Let's see, if Pacific is 8, I need to go down to 5, which is probably East Coast. Or Havana. Let's let's pick Havana time, guys. There it is, Eastern time. All right. We'll use the instant on. Keep my console and my games up to date, please. Here it is, guys. This is our Xbox One X. Let's get, uh, let's see. We know how to do this stuff, so we don't need to take the tour of an Xbox. This is not our first rodeo or even our second. All right, we are at our home screen, and this should quickly get populated. Let's see if good old Hardy is booted up, and it sure is. So, make sure that our favorite here is of Sonic Forces, our new game of the day, is ready to go. And indeed, right here, Sonic Forces already. So, we will catch you guys next time. This has been our intro to the Xbox One X, 
And, wow, I only have... <laughs> I'm already halfway through this 4 terabyte hard drive. That's crazy. So, anyway, hope you guys like this. Uh, if you did, shoot us a thumbs up. We definitely appreciate your guys' support. We're going to have plenty more action coming your way, so make sure you subscribe. And we'd love to hear from you in the comments. And uh, we don't get tons of comments, so we're pretty good about getting back to you pretty quick. So, anyway... Until next time, this is Savage Sasquatch from GamingReportCard.com, and I am out of here.